All right, everybody. This is Steve the Mechanic. We're here going ahead. We got this uh, 2012 G37, 87K on it. Hasn't had. I don't think. Believe it has not had a transmission flush, but I couldn't tell you. I only bought the car eight, seven thousand miles ago. So what we're doing is we're going to go ahead and do a uh, transmission drain, which is approximately 4.2, 4.3 quarts. We got this Pennzoil uh, Marine fill pump, and this connector apparently works with the. Um, fill plug on the Infinity, and this is the Indipsu ATF Type S. Got this, both of these things on Amazon. I'll put a link in the video to these. Saw these on another video with another guy doing this. We're not using the valve wing. This is just to drain it. So the first thing we're doing, guys, is we got the car securely jacked up. Two jack stands, and I got the jack over here as well. And then we're going to go ahead, and I don't know if you can see this from this angle. I'm kind of blocked here. But basically, I went ahead and I did took a, um, I think it's like a Torx 20 or something like that on the Allen wrench here. And I did actually drain a little bit of fluid from the fill plug, mistakenly thinking that there were some baffles in there that were going to hold that in place. Because when the other guy does it, no fluid comes out. That's because he's already drained it. So we're going to go ahead and do the drain plug right there. See that? 19 millimeter. We're going to get that started. And we're going to wind up draining that into this container. Uh, apparently it's about 4.2 to 4.3 quarts. It's going to come out. And this particular container is four quarts, but I think there's always a little bit of latitude on the top of these things here, so we should be good. So once we pull out about 4.3 quarts, then we're going to go back over here. We're going to use that pump and this five quart, and we're going to go ahead and put in the exact same amount that we pulled out, and then we're going to start the car, and it should be good. My assistant's going to be here holding the camera on the other side while I'm doing my work. So hopefully he'll be here in a second. In the meanwhile, this is just the beginning of the video. So 19 millimeter is the socket that uh, broke free pretty easy. The socket off to the side. So again, guys, we're draining approximately 4.2, maybe 4.3 quarts. So this is a four quart, so it should actually fill in here because we all know these have a little bit of a latitude of extra space on top, right? So pull this plug out of here. Oh, and there we go, okay. So that starts the drain process. Hopefully it's draining inside of it. There we go. So we're going to let this drain, guys, for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to take a look at the fluid color. I can see the fluid color. It doesn't look too terrible. But yeah, you see that, guys? See that on my finger, how dark it is? So yeah, this fluid is actually a little, a little bit darker. So we're going to want to drain in somewhere between one-third and one-half um, today. And then we'll drive about another 1,000 miles, and then we'll do this again. So all right, guys. So we'll stop filming for right now, and we'll come back in about 10 minutes after this is done draining. Alright guys, so we let it drain down into this container, we're going to double check it, but based on another video that we saw on YouTube, the guy said it was 4.2 quarts that comes out, we're going to verify that we're somewhere around the 4.2, 4.3, if it is 4.2, I'm going to wind up putting in 4.3, because when we pull this uh, fill plug here, and then after we're done filling it, you know, there's going to be that little bit of a gap where I pull the pump and then I put the plug in there and then we'll probably lose a tiny bit. So we want to go ahead and do it. And a tenth of a quart either way is not going to make any difference anyway. So we got all the old fluid out. I'll show you guys in another video. You can see right there. Yeah, I can have to show you another video. See right there? See the color of that fluid, guys? Hopefully you can see that. So it is, yeah, it's actually kind of dark, kind of dark, dark brown. Definitely not what you want it to be. You want it to be a little bit, definitely a lot lighter color than that. So we're, we're going to get there eventually here. So we're going to go ahead and grab that pump and pull off this one here. But let's, we can probably do that. I like tightening it by hand before, right? Yeah, there we go. So this is going to be the one where we fill it from. So there shouldn't be too much fluid coming out. There may still be a little bit of extra fluid coming out of there. And that's fine. Because, you know, a little couple of drops here and there, whatever. And we do have the car jacked up. So this pan is going this way a little bit. So maybe this is affecting that. So anyway, we're going to stop filming in a second here. And then we're going to grab that pump and we're going to hook it up the new fluid and then we'll start uh, start that process all right guys so we did the drain plug now we got the fill this is the adapter to that previously aforementioned pump and as we see it does go in it doesn't quite go in all the way which indicates to me the threads might be a tiny bit different so i don't want to force it too much so that's hand tight that should be good and then we go here screw this piece in. This is a little weird to do laying on your back. Oh, if I lift this piece 
so much easier with that, folks. And then we're going to try to get this thing to spin around in here. Actually, maybe the thing to do is just to back this off. Hopefully, I'm not stripping anything. Maybe we'll just put this on here. Okay, that's in there. This piece on. Of course, we're still having the issue with uh, hitting this. How much room do we have for me to get this out of there? This is going to wind up spinning around. That's not going to work. I'm going to hook this in here. Put this back in there. Hand tight, that should be good. I think what I got to do is I got to pull this out first. Because that's spinning around. Tip this over and lose all the foot. Oh, we're gonna stop filming right now. Alright, guys, continuing this project, we're doing the pump. Alright, guys, well, I wasn't recording there, that's brilliant. So, anyway, <laughs> tedious process of pumping the uh, fluid into here because you're doing this against gravity. Apparently, on the G35, you can actually add a dipstick to this so you would just fill it in from the top. But this G37, I haven't heard anything about that, so this is the way to do it. So, we're working, we're working our way towards 4.3 quarts to put in there. And so off. We had to put it on an angle because the tube was not uh, hitting it. It's, it's almost... I, I think... I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so we're basically... A tiniest, we're a tiniest bit below 4. Just go a little bit more. A little bit more than that. And then we're going to call it 4.3 and then we're going to go ahead and wind up uh, using our drain fill to cap plug typey thingy and put that back in there. Alright folks, so continuing on this project here. My assistant, we've pumped in. Try to get these towels out of the way. Uh, you can see it, you can sort of see it, maybe you can't. It's still a little too dark in here, even with the light on. But basically we're at about, we're at about four and a quarter quarts right now. And we got the tube, see, and we just basically pumped out what was left in there. So hopefully all the fluids in there are good. Hopefully I don't introduce any air to the system. I'm thinking I might put a tiny bit more fluid in here, and then let some of the air drain. Because I know you can do that with the air bubbles. You can let this car run to operating temperature, and you can get the air bubbles out of it. Because in any any hydraulic system, you don't want to have air in there, whether it's power steering or brakes or trans or oil. You just want to have it all fluid. You want to have air in the way. So. Um, that is a concern of mine with this pump system. We could be introducing some air into the system here in some way. But we are going to go ahead and pop this off of here connector with the tube. And again, like if you, yeah, you guys really can't see it. It's not quite very, but now I can see it on that angle. So yeah, it's basically about four and a quarter. When my assistant comes back. We're going to pump in just a little bit more than that. So right now we're at about four and a quarter quarts. So 4.2 something. We're going to pump in a tiny bit more. Or maybe we won't, because if we do it, then we'll wind up introducing more air into the system. We don't want to do that. So probably at this point, we'll just call it quits, because according to our calculations, when we did pull it out and we drained it into the other Valvoline container, you can see in the background over there, uh, we were thinking it was only right around 4 quarts. So it's supposed to be 4.2, of course, because it's always possible that it was 0.2 short, right? So we don't want to be 0.3 or 0.4 short. Now we're getting to places where we don't want to be. Well, tenth here or tenth there is not going to make a difference. Um, so yeah, I think we're pretty good with this where we're at right now. I don't think we're going to put any more in here. We're just going to wait till my assistant comes back. And then we're going to go ahead and pop this plug out of here. And then we're going to go ahead and put this, to put this uh, plug back in. And then we'll start the thing up. If need be, in a couple days, I might let it run till it's uh, 
nice and warm, and then you kind of wait till the air bubbles come out when it's draining, and then you know that you got all the air out of the system. Of course, you're still never 100% certain accurate as to how much fluid you have in there, because there's no dipstick in this thing. Because Infinity likes to go ahead and say, oh yeah, it's a sealed transmission, lifetime transmission fluid, horse crap. The fluid we took out of there looks 10 times worse than the fluid that's going in there. It looks very old, 87,000 miles. It's probably original transmission fluid. They just don't want you to train to transmission fluid, people. They want you to go ahead and drive the car for 120, 130,000 miles and have the transmission conk out on you. And then say, sorry, you don't want to pay $6,000 for a transmission, so you just buy another car. But you really should be changing the transmission fluid every 30 to 40,000 miles on every single car you have, regardless. It's just how you drive it regardless. But anyway, that's where we're at right now, as soon as my system comes back. Finish this up. All right, guys. So, like I explained in a previous video, we've got about 4.2, four and a quarter, roughly, fluid in here. Plus, we probably got some air from the stupid pump. This pump's always gonna do that to you. So, we're gonna go ahead, and I'm just gonna pop this out, and some fluid's gonna come out right away. And then we're gonna have to uh, put this in, pretty much uh, post haste, and forthwith. So, hopefully, I don't get doused with fluids. So. Here we freaking go. And here we go. Oh, get it in me, you stupid idiot. No, wait, I'm taking way too long to do this. I missed it. There we go. <laughs> ah. As you can see, guys, I took too long to get that in there, and I definitely lost some fluid. And that is because I was trying to put the screw in. I was like, right here. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I was totally missing it. So I totally dropped the ball. So next time what we do is we do this. And you put one finger over that until you have the lined up with, because I was over here missing it and everything. So yeah, see guys, we dropped some fluid. How much fluid that is, I don't know. That might be a tenth of a quart right there. So if that's a tenth of a quart and we put in 4.2, we might only be at 4.1 right now. Uh, but anyway, 4.1, 4.2, it'll be good. According to what we saw and that when we drained it, it looked like it was pretty much exactly four quarts that we took out. So if we put in 4.2 or 4.3, we're still ahead of the game, even, even with this... Uh, stupidity of this spill here. Yeah, that was kind of ridiculous. Oh la la. So anyway, all right, we're tight. And then guys, now we go here, and this is the five point Allen wrench. So we're just gonna tighten this up here. We don't really tighten it up too much. Just a little bit here, but a little bit more. You can check the torque specs in this. I actually do have a torque wrench. I didn't check the torque specs. This is probably like 12 or 15 pounds. Yep, that's it. That's good enough. I'm not going any harder. I'm not going to go any harder than that. So, all right. So, we're just going to finish wiping this off and then we're going to start the car and drive it and see how it goes. And then we'll see you guys in 500 miles when we go ahead and do another one of these flushes here. And then we'll do the same procedure because we have 87,000 miles. So this is approximately slightly less. It's about between one third and one half of the fluid. And you drive for 500 miles, let it work its way through the system through the torque converter, and you do it again and again. And actually doing it three times, uh, theoretically, you should be somewhere in the 85 to 90 percent of uh, newer fluid in there. And that's kind of how these seal transmissions work. Thanks for watching.